Okay, in this video, I'm going to discuss linear regression in Excel. Okay, and I'm going to do it using this data set that I found uh, from the WHO, the World Health Organization. Um, they have published this data on Kaggle or Kaggle, um, and it's, it's really great. It's all about life expectancy. There's lots of information here. Okay. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded the data and first thing I notice is that um, basically we have 15 years of data the most recent year being 2015 okay um, two variables that I'm interested in right now are life expectancy and schooling so basically the number of years of schooling that um, people that live in that country receive on average. Okay, so life expectancy and schooling. So what I did was I went ahead and uh, copied and pasted that data. Uh, this is all just from the year 2015 because I want the most recent um, schooling year and uh, most recent life expectancy year Okay, um, that that data set had to provide me with. Okay, um, one thing, you see I have life expectancy and then I have schooling. If I'm going to do a um, scatter plot and do a linear regression for this data, a lot of times you like to order your data X, Y, right? Um, and if we're thinking about this data, what should be X and what should be Y? Okay, does schooling predict life expectancy or life expectancy predicts schooling? Well, it should be that schooling, the number of years of school you have, would tell us something about your life expectancy. So because schooling is the independent variable, it should be x. And life expectancy, the dependent variable, should be y. So I'm gonna go ahead and reorder this data if I press A up here and then press Control X and then press C and Control V, I have now reordered the data. Okay, let's delete this column here. So now I have X comma Y. All right, you want to make sure your data is in X comma Y before you make your scatter plot. Highlight your data. Go to Insert. Under Charts, you'll have a scatter plot option here and you want to go ahead and do the scatter plot. Okay. Um, before I get started, I like to go ahead and label my axes. So I'm going to go to add chart element and axes. I want the horizontal bottom axes and I want the vertical um, Y axes. Okay. So this axis is going to be um, the Y, what is Y? It is life expectancy. Life expectancy. And what is X? X is schooling. Or in other words, the average number of years of school um, people have. So title of it is life expectancy versus schooling in 2015 WHO data set okay all right so it's very interesting what do we see here it looks like uh, when life expectancy is low right or when schooling is low uh, life expectancy is also low but as you go to more school your life expectancy also increases right does schooling cause you to live longer? Mm, that's hard to say. Uh, you know, recall, you know, when we're doing this type of analysis, we're not making causal statements. We're really just saying one variable is related to the other. And it definitely does look like schooling is in some way related to life expectancy, but it's not necessarily directly related. It could be through a proxy variable like um, maybe the GDP, right? A more a rich country is able to send students to school for longer periods of time. 
and a rich country also has access to more health care, which might improve life expectancy. So schooling might not be causing the increased life expectancy. Another uh, variable that we're not capturing here right now might be the cause, okay? But they're definitely related. They're definitely correlated with each other because we do see, um, you know, this sort of tight relationship. It looks like it's a positive relationship, okay? All right, if I click on one of these dots and then I'm gonna right click, I can add the trend line, okay? And then let's look over to the right of the screen uh, automatically it'll do a linear trend line. Okay, that's what we want right now. And I'm gonna click display the equation on the chart and display the R squared value on the chart. Okay, let's put these guys over here. So, what does this mean? Okay, what does, what does this equation mean? Let's start with the equation y equals point 2.2287x plus 42.902. First off, what is x and y? Okay, x is schooling, right? What's on the x-axis is x, and life expectancy is y on the y-axis, okay? So if you were to plug in zero in this equation, you would have something multiplied by zero plus 42.902. So basically this 42.902 is the expected life expectancy if someone had no schooling, right? And then if you had one year of schooling, it would increase by 2.2287. So basically every additional year of schooling that you get you get another 2.2287 additional years of life expectancy, your, your country does, okay? All right, so, you know, that's how you interpret the, this is called the, um, the intercept, 42.902, the intercept, and the intercept is basically the life expectancy when X, or schooling, is equal to zero. And then the slope is the improvement in life expectancy, because it's positive. So the improvement in life expectancy per additional year of schooling. Okay. Okay, so what is R squared? R squared is the square of the correlation coefficient R uh, which basically tells us something about the strength of the association between the schooling and life expectancy, okay? So how do I find R, right? If I want, if they give up me R squared, how do I find R? Okay, I'm gonna do that right here. So they told me what R squared is. I'm gonna write it here, 0 0.6694. And if I want to know r, what should I do? I should basically take the square root. So equals sqrt, open your parentheses. You can go ahead and you could just type in 0 0.06694 or I could just click that cell. Close the parentheses. Okay, and there's r. One more thing, you want to notice that r, r, Okay, our correlation coefficient is positive, and that is because the slope of this line is positive. Okay, now if the slope of this line was negative, after we took the square root, we would need to take it to be negative. Okay, because R tells us both the direction and magnitude of the correlation. So R is basically the percentage of the variation in life expectancy that is explained by the number of years of schooling. So 80 some percent, that's pretty good, right? If schooling is very good at explaining um, something about life expectancy, which is pretty interesting.